A credit card thief ordering hundreds of dollars in pizza and wings bought the credit card numbers on the dark web. The Tarpon Springs Papa John's got stuck with the bill and tracked down the crook. And that's when the restaurant owner knew he'd better call Bankin. And investigator Shannon Bankin joins me now with an update to her ongoing investigation. The dark web. I mean, yep. I kind of thought that was just something in the movies, but it's for real. It is. You know, you hear about it from time to time, and you do think maybe it is just something from the movies, but it is really for real. The Tarpon Springs police spokesman tells me that through this investigation, they have stumbled across something much bigger than what they had thought. A website dedicated to helping crooks rip you off. Credit card numbers, maybe even yours, for sale. This dark site came to light after an 18-year-old man allegedly confessed to buying credit card numbers and then using them repeatedly to buy hundreds of dollars in pizzas and wings from this Papa John's. So you get paid initially, and then they take the money back? Correct, yeah. Give it back to the customer. Fed up after months of phony orders and paying for meals for the thieves, Papa John's turned to Better Call Bankin to help get police attention. And they had serious evidence. The shop owner himself delivered two empty pizza boxes and confronted a man, shown here. He admitted to the scheme. When Tarpon Springs police showed up later, he gave up this website. He vowed to keep his promise to pay back the shop to avoid arrest. Are you hopeful you're going to get your money back now? Uh, yeah. You think you will? Yeah. Tarpon Springs police are working their credit card case, but turned over this website to the U.S. Secret Service. And what a wealth of information is here. Crooks openly buying and selling credit cards and sharing their dark secrets. User comments show Amazon is a target and Domino's Pizza may be next. And does that make you mad that that's out there like that? So if like 18, 19 years old kid, they can buy uh, credit card information easy like that. A lot of people can do it too. And then they might use a credit card to buy like more expensive stuff, not just pizza. Tarpon Springs Police sent this information to the U.S. Secret Service, and today I personally called Tampa's field office and shared with them what I found on the site, and I was told that all of this will be reviewed. As for that pizza thief, police are giving him until July 6th to pay back the money, and they're still investigating to find out if something else happened. And that July 6th, that's because the owner had agreed to this civil agreement to let him pay back, which is the only reason he's been given this grace period, but they're right. still investigating. That's if they find more, I know, right that's there. what I thought. Well, what about the pizza thief. I mean, mm -hmm. was he surprised when cops showed up? Was he remorseful? Well, What's the deal? I asked that, and he's actually a viewer. He was watching our newscast when we did the first story. He saw and said, uh-oh, the police are going to show up, and they did. <laughs> <laughs> so, pretty My funny. Goodness. But he promises he's going to pay all of this back. And he was remorseful, says he only used the card at this one pizza shop because it was just so easy and he was hungry. But maybe, we'll see. <laughs> maybe he should do an exclusive interview with you yeah. when he pays back the money. Yeah, we can do me. another follow-up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Shannon. Mm -hmm. If you have a problem that you think needs solving, you better call Bankin. The number is 1-855-BANKIN.